just got to Hollywood Studios and I just want to thank Annie. As we entered the park, we asked to upgrade to preferred parking, which is $25 if you're an AP pass holder. And she said it was on the house today. Again, more Disney magic. So appreciative. That's so freaking awesome. Just want to say with all of the griping that we do about some of the Disney corporate policies, when it comes to individual cast members, they're the ones that will continue with the magic and the pixie mm -hmm. dust. So I also want to say that if you guys come and you experience anything with any of the cast members, Be if, they're, polite. if they're doing something nice for you, even if they're not doing something nice for you, if they're just taking care of you, Thank them and tell them you appreciate it. Yeah, you really, really should do. because they work their butts off yes. to help make your vacation magical. And yes. again, some people might say, that eh, was just $25, but we appreciate that. Yeah, that was definitely. really, really, oh, yeah. really, it. really sweet. So thanks, Annie at Hollywood Studios Parking. A, uh, cast shout out for her. Definitely. Yeah. All right. Bye, guys. Okay, Joe. So where Hi. are we? We are in Hollywood land. We're at Hollywood Studios and we're walking down Hollywood Boulevard. Oh, oh, Vine Street, stop, go, we can go. You can't see it, but I'm just saying right up here, you can stop and go, but we can go. Okay. Hollywood and Vine. I have to Ooh. say, it is beautiful. It was supposed to, there was like a 100% chance of rain yeah. today and everyone was reporting it and we bought ponchos and we bought an umbrella and we bought like rain shoes to wear like pool shoes and now there's like a 13 percent chance of rain so the only thing predictable <laughs> about florida weather is that it's unpredictable like, yes I, we had all these plans with your sister and everything and, and she canceled her park passes because she thought it was going to rain and it wasn't worth you know the 125 dollar price ticket per ticket per ticket to hang out in the rain so yeah. she canceled excuse me but joe and i thought we would just weather out the storm that never happened yeah well so far we'll see maybe come six o'clock five o'clock <laughs> We're gonna have a storm anyway. Who knows? But at five o'clock, yeah. we'll be having dinner at Brown Derby. So. Yes. So anyway. All right. So we're on our way to Galaxy's Edge. We have to go pick up something for our granddaughter. Granddaughter to be. Hey, she's coming any day now. Any day now. Any day now. All right. So we will check in with you guys later today. Hi everyone. I'm Jen. And I'm Joe. And we're Jen and Joe. On the go. So, Jen, where are we? What are we doing? We are at Hollywood Brown Derby inside Hollywood Studios for dinner. This is such a good restaurant. Um, if you haven't had the cop salad here, I, that's what I personally order every time. It's so light and refreshing, and I'm so excited to have it again tonight. Yeah. Um, you get it pretty much every time we come here. I'm thinking I want something lighter, like one of the fish dishes. A fish dish. You know, we'll we see. do have a tomato risotto. Risotto. Yeah, risotto. Risotto. <laughs> well, currently I'm drinking some water because it's a scorcher out there, kids. It was um, so hot. I had sweat dripping from my eyelids into my her eye. eyelids were sweating. <laughs> How does it's that happen? stifling. It anyway, is really hot. Yeah, so drinking some water, waiting for my drink, and then we will order our entree. Hollywood Brown Derby is. Uh, has, was created and fashioned after the Hollywood Brown Derby or the Brown Derby in Hollywood. And it was from the 1930s. You had a lot of celebrities that would actually dine there. It was the um, hot, was the it trendy, place. the it place, yeah. Uh, and around the restaurant here, you have caricatures of a lot of different stars, actors, musicians, uh, just celebrities uh, from really the time. It's a really neat restaurant. Yeah, so you got a lot of old world celebrities. Oh, and here is oh, my drink. And here comes Joe's drink. Yummy, yummy. I just so, got a boring iced tea. She got a boring iced tea. Thank Hold on. You. So my drink this evening is the Hollywood Manhattan, which is Palm Ridge whiskey, Antica Carpano Vermouth, and Luxardo cherries. It looks pretty. It does look quite nice, doesn't it? So let's see if it tastes as good as it looks. What'd you get to drink, boring one? Nice tea it's nice it's tea. Just, I'm just so hot. It's, it's too hot. I can't even fathom having if I didn't, alcohol. I know. Right now. If I didn't have any water before this, I don't think I would have done this. Is it delightful? It is very is it? fragrant. Mm. 
you would not like this, not even a little. Because it tastes like medicine. It is very heavy on the whiskey taste. Mm -hmm. and well, I don't think I would mind that. And just kind of flat. Do you take a sip then if you want. There isn't, it's not super sweet at all, which is really nice. You really, you're not too bad with it? I mean, it's not my favorite. I'm just not a Manhattan old fashioned kind of person, but it's made well. I feel like these Manhattans. I can see why you like it. Yeah, I can. I feel like the Manhattans that I've had lately have been not as sweet as old fashions. Like they're they're tasty, but not as sweet. So you get more of the bourbon taste or the vermouth taste, mm -hmm. and this has the cherries in it. So it's just got a slight cherry taste with it as well. That's like so not super sweet. So that's why I say it's kind of not flat, but definitely got a, a more whiskey taste to it. So I don't know. I really like it. It's very good. And we're gonna have a little bit of bread, and then we're gonna get our entrees, and we're gonna try to leave room for dessert. We are. You'll see what that is if we can get to it, yes, which I think we a, will. It's a Hollywood Brown Derby signature item. Yes, so if you know Hollywood Brown Derby, and you know what they're, I guess, known for, or one of their top dessert items anyway, you might know we've what we're talking never about. Tried it, yeah, we've never but tried I think it. Tonight's gonna be the night. Yes, I think so too. Yeah. How you feeling? I feel, at least I'm cooling down now. Yeah, I know. I still feel disgusting. Like, you know, like when you sweat all day and then you go in the air conditioning, you just feel dirty. It was more than that, though. Like, I normally don't have a problem with the heat. You I can don't. tolerate it. But I don't know what's going on. But it was heavy today. Heavy. So it's really nice to be in the air conditioning right now. And I want to say something. So Hollywood Brown Derby. It's a very elegant restaurant, but it's very simply decorated. Yeah. And I just, I love it here. I just, I just love the feeling of it. It is really nice, I think, with the dark wood. Yes. And then the dark wood is only half, and the rest of the wall is white. Yeah. But then you have all the, the different pictures, the caricatures and pictures of the different celebrities. Um, I like the chandeliers. It's just, and then just the, the, the All the, the way, caricatures on the walls and the pictures of the celebrities. I don't know how much we can show, because Well, I could show the walls here. Busy. Yeah, but let me just show you a little bit of it really just quick. Really it's just old Hollywood. Yeah, it's very cool. Yeah. It's just like the architecture. Architecture is just so, I don't know. I just really like it. And it's a little darker, so it's soothing. And all those little pictures on the wall are caricatures of different celebrities. So, while you are hobnobbing with the celebrities of oh, about 100 years ago, you must partake in a drinky drink, and my drinky drink today is the Manhattan, which is an elegant drink. You know why you know it's an elegant drink, Jennifer? Because it's served in an elegant glass. You see the glass? It's quite lovely, don't you think? It is quite Most importantly, how does it taste? It's lovely, quite lovely, thank you. Um, Jen, I think the um, Hollywood Brown Derby has um, sprung a leak. Okay, so the way the Brown Derby is designed, it's like tiered, so there's there's a higher level gate and then a lower level. Yeah, so you come down the stairs, and the majority of the tables are here in the lower lower level where we are. But it's, it's shaped like, the outside is shaped like a U, and then you've got the middle. So the middle is the ground floor, and the U part is up about five steps. Thank you. Thank you. You got it. So, did someone have, um, oh no, no, I'm okay. Did someone have too much fun upstairs at Club 33? That's back. It hasn't gone away. No, 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 last time we were here, yes. they did not toss it table side. That's true. Yes. Thank, Thank you, you, sir. Oh, so there's your cob salad. Yeah, the last time we came, they did not... Yeah, yeah, we were just saying last time they did not toss it table side. Yeah, it we came out because of COVID. Slowly getting back to so we'll have to get back to the story, but um, here's my salmon. And as we showed already, there's Jen's cob salad. 
which does look really, really good. And then the salmon. I will salmon. say, though, it used to come with six to eight shrimp, but now I think there's only four. But I think you mentioned that last time. I think I did. I think, um, I think I did. when we were here last, they just reduced the uh, number of shrimp. Yes. So. so we just wanted to say <laughs> we've got. Um, it seems like there is a leak in the ceiling at the ground. I, I just wanted to show the uh, staff, the big wigs, kind of hold it around the table. Yeah, uh, either someone was having a bit of a party upstairs at Club Thirty Three, or something else more serious happened. Well, yeah, there's yeah, a leak. So there, as I was saying how the restaurant is designed, there's two tiers. So that was like upper area over there that you can see. Um, it was dripping water all over the people that were sitting at the table. So they were moved. And then the table that's under them, um, those people started moving over because the, it looks like there's a ceiling leak. I don't know if it's water, if it's... Oh, it's probably Something water. More yeah. than water. Yeah, it's probably water. But yeah, it, it, the joke is that upstairs, I don't know if everyone knows this, but here at uh, Hollywood Brown Derby, when you check in, you go around the corner to the restrooms, there's an elevator there. That elevator leads to the second floor, which is Club 33, which is the elite, you know, secret private, it's not that private, but um, special Disney club. club, Disney Club. You pay like thirty thirty five thousand dollars a year for it's it. It's probably a lot more than that now. Could be, but you get a lot of extra perks and whatever, whatever. So upstairs is special dining for Club Thirty Three, and we thought maybe someone upstairs is partying a little too much, and you know, I don't know. Right. They, but anyway, they moved the couple. The other family left because they had finished eating, but like there were managers over there and maintenance. Yeah, and yeah. They're trying to clean it up. Yeah, it's kind of funny, but anyway. Yeah. Yikes. All right, so your meal was good. You uh, had the cop salad. So good. Yep. I had the salmon. Um, Nicola is our waitress Server. taking care of us. Um, and I was going to add, well, I did ask her, you choose, because the special is a rainbow trout that's stuffed with crab. And I've had that before. So I'm like, do I get that again or do I try the salmon? So I asked her, she said, okay, you'll get the salmon. And, but she missed the, the point that it was supposed to be a surprise. So I don't know. But anyway, um, yeah, it's okay. So I got the salmon. And it was really good, and I'm really glad I tried it. I really liked it. And now for we dessert. We have dessert coming. We no, no, don't should. ruin it. Okay, okay. Don't ruin it. Okay. We don't normally get dessert. But it'll be here in a minute. We'll show you what it is well, when it gets here. We purposely didn't order an appetizer yes. because that would have put us over the edge. Right, so we wanted to save room for dessert. Yes. Yes. Jen is currently taking a picture of dessert, and dessert is done, done, da da done, 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 done. It is the infamous, world famous grapefruit cake, and believe it or not, we have wow. not had this before. No. And this is a little white chocolate piece. Yep. And then the it's a, a colored sugar kind of glaze yes. over the cake, and it's a citrusy grapefruit cake that's supposed to be really kind of light so here let's see go ahead you get the first I'm really bite excited to try this. yeah it looks like it's going to be good mm. that is not at all what i thought it would taste like really is it good though What are your thoughts? It's good, but I think it would be better without the glaze. Like really? the cake is so good on its own that I think the glaze takes away from. Hmm. Yeah, let me see what you think. I All think right. the glaze is too much. Okay. I think it would be better to have just the cake. Well, okay. Well, let's see. I'll try to get just a little bit of the cake. light and it's moist but it tastes like cake what do you think of the glaze I know I like it more with the glaze you do mm -hmm. yeah okay 
the glaze gives it, I think, more of the grapefruit taste. Hmm. Mm hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. It's really good, though. Okay. It's really good. Okay. So, I don't mean to laugh, but. So, the same couple that got dripped on from the ceiling. They left. Well, they sat right next to us. They moved them down to a table right next to us. So they got up and left. And then the poor guy that was cleaning the table accidentally dropped some stuff and a glass broke and water's everywhere. So I'm like, I said to him, like, I think it's them. I think they had bad juju or something because they caused the leak and then they caused you to spill everything at the table. It was like black cloud or something over them. So... This is so... This is so funny. So, so the tray spilled and, and there was a mess everywhere. And the first thing... Yeah, the first the thing first he did. The first thing the cast member did was turn to the table, to us, and to the table behind that table and said, are you okay? Yeah, yeah. Wow. Yeah, so he was very, very cool about that. Because he was more concerned... The very first thing yes, was more, he was concerned about the us, guests. Yes. And I appreciate that. And yes. again, it's the cast members. This is why we keep coming back. We may disagree with a lot of the things that are going on. And we're not the not, only ones. That's not the cast member's decision. Right. That comes from corporate. Bobby Boy. We'll just yes. leave it at that. Yes, um, corporate. But it is the cast members that make us want to come back because they truly make the experience magical. So Some we of them appreciate do. that. Yep, absolutely. Like our waitress tonight, Nicola, is was fantastic. She was great. Um, Annie yeah. at the main entrance gave yes. us free um, preferred parking. Yeah. That's a $25 option for a pass holder. Right. It's more if you're not. Yes, it's 50 yeah. if you're not. So anyway. It's like, it's on us. What? Yeah, I don't know. Very cool. Anyway, so dinner tonight was, was lovely. Very good. I enjoyed it. Yes. I think I liked the grapefruit cake more than you did. It was good. I'm glad I tried it, but it's not something I would order again. And I think I would prefer it without the glaze. Yes, you said you liked the cake. It was itself. very moist, yeah. But it was very flavorful. The glaze, I think, is what added some of that grapefruit flavor. Oh, yeah. Which absolutely. had a bit of bitterness to it, you said. But that's yeah. kind of the grapefruit flavor. Um, mm -hmm. But I liked it more than you did. So, well, I'm glad anyway. I tried it because it's yes. the famous signature grapefruit cake that's been here since they opened. Yeah. So, all right. Let's get moving. We All got right. Things to so do. Don't forget to like and subscribe and hit that notification bell because you don't want to miss any of the next Jenny Joe on the go action because you could get dripped on in Hollywood Brown Derby. You could suffer through the 100 degree heat like we have. Oh my gosh. It's maybe brutal. you scored a virtual queue for. Rise of the Resistance. I know, are they even doing virtual queue now? I, I don't know, know. But maybe you, maybe. Got, maybe you got to ride it because it was down for most of the day yes. today. And or, then when it opened, it had a three hour wait. Maybe you get lucky enough and you can ride Guardians of the Galaxy in Epcot. Stay tuned for that video as well. Okay. All right. Can we, can we go now? I'm really yeah, tired. I'm tired. I want to I, swim, I think. I'm, I'm just... I, I don't want to be in the park anymore. I don't want to be in the park either. I want to go it's now. It's just kind of miserable. Can we, can we go? Yeah, we can go. Okay. Sounds good. Right. Dinner was really good. It was good. I really enjoyed it. I really do like this place. We've been Me here too. several times now. Yeah. Brown Derby, definitely thumbs up. Yeah. All right. Talk to you guys right. later. Bye. Bye.